What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Nord Trades and today I bring you another special video. The Sunday Stock Watch List where I give you all the stocks that I like, all the stocks that I dislike, the economic calendar, and whatever is going on in the earnings calendar. And yes, it is earnings season so it will be interesting. So let's go ahead and get started with the calendar here. As you guys can see, Monday, nothing really going on. You have the Chicago Fed uh, National Activity Index at 8.30. Tuesday, you have PMI Composite Flash at 9.45 Eastern Time. Other than that, you have a few people speaking. Wednesday, you have new home sales, uh, MBA mortgage applications, EIA Petroleum Status Report, uh, sta uh, State Street Investor Confidence Index. Thursday, you have durable good orders, GDP, international trading goods, jobless claims, pending home sales, and then Friday, you have personal income and outlays and consumer sentiment. Before I continue to the earnings, make sure you hit that like button. I'll wait for you guys to do that. Comment down below what other videos you'd like to see on this channel. What other stocks do you want to see on this channel? Other than that, make sure you go to my main channel at Nord Trades. I just updated or uploaded a day in the life vlog. You know, it's a nice little quick one. I hope you guys enjoy it. Also, please don't get scammed. I will never ask you to send me any money. And I only have three Instagram accounts, Nor Trade, Stock Hours, and Trade Like Nor. Here is the economic or the earnings calendar. We just went over the economic calendar. Monday, you have really nothing here. Logitech reports. Tuesday, you have Coca-Cola reporting, Google, Microsoft, Visa, Snapchat. Wednesday, you guys have Boeing earnings, Bank of Canada rate decision. You have the new home sales, Facebook earnings, Jerome's Powell speech. Um... You have ADP reporting, IBM. It's, it's, it's going to be a crazy week here, it looks like. Um, honestly, this is crazy. A lot of those stocks that I like to play are going to probably be reporting or are reporting this week. So the contracts are going to be a little expensive. Thursday, you have Amazon reporting, UPS. Uh, what else do you have? You have MasterCard. Obviously, we talked about the GDP uh, and the ECB rate decision. And then we have Intel earnings. That'll be interesting. It's always interesting. Ford reports. Uh, that'll be cool too. And then Friday you have Chevron earnings and Exxon um, Exxon earnings and then you have personal spending data and then consumer sentiment. So that's everything for this week. Obviously, if you like stocks like Spotify and 3M, those report as well. So let's go ahead and get started here uh, with the actual watch list. Now, Tesla, my guy is struggling, struggling big time. I caught this on Friday uh, to the downside struggling 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 kid here um what am i looking at here i'm looking at the 210 to the downside obviously you guys can see that i had this over here also on the one hour i have a gap i believe give me one second is it maybe a little further down I remember having a gap on Tesla. Was it Tesla? Let's take a look. Real quick, let's see. I mean, you do have a little gap here from 411 down to 408. All right, so it was NVIDIA, not Tesla. So let's just take a look at Tesla real quick before we skip over to NVIDIA. Tesla, I'm looking at that 410 level. If I go on the four hour, the bigger time frame here, you guys can see if I draw a line here at this 212, I'm uh, sorry, 210 area, I think I said 412. So if I draw a line here, um, I'll add a drawing for you guys because you guys can get a visual. I do all my charting on my PC here so you guys can take a look. We have a level here. We're kind of holding under if I drag this actually right here. I say properties. Da -da 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 -da. All right, so you guys can take a look. We bounced off that 212 level. I am watching 210. After that, I have really nothing until that 205, 204 area and then 200. So it's going to be an interesting week. Obviously, this is... 
sold pretty hard here. We'll see if this can bounce. This is support level. You usually get you know a re, you know a reaction here. As you can see, we've tested it twice here, bounced. We tested it here, bounced, and now we're testing it here from Friday. And let's see if we bounce this week. I am watching Tesla though to the downside. Am I going to watch the bounce? Possibly. We'll see how the market sentiment is this week. Nvidia, on the other hand, this stock is crazy. Just know that we have a crazy gap here from 367 to 305, so that's gonna be interesting. Other than that, I do have that gap that I was talking to you guys about, that 411 to 408 area. So that's what I'm watching on NVIDIA. I'm watching the 410 to 408. After 408, I have 405, then 400. And then after 400, as you can see, we have this trend here. Where is this coming from? Four hour maybe. Probably have to get rid of it. It's probably an old trend here. Um, but yeah, you could see how this was holding a trend here. And, and it's pretty valid as well if you look at it. We bounced a few times. Look at this. We bounced here. Um, I am just watching that gap. Now from 410 to 48, we have that gap. Then 405, then 400. After 400, things start to get a little spicy. So I'm watching the video to the downside. I don't have any upside. Obviously, if we get a bounce or whatever. Uh, that doesn't mean I'm bearish on this stock. It just means that's what I'm interested on it. So Shopify, a stock that I don't really like to play much, but I am watching this to the downside. I'm watching the 50-50 level. Um, obviously, the low is like 50-69. What about here? 50-58. So I'm watching 50-50 to the downside. If we break 50-50 uh, to the downside, I'm watching with room down to 50. That is a decent amount for a stock that's $50, and the stock doesn't really move much. Um, but after 50, hold up, let me put this on the one year. Yeah, so we have the remaining of this gap down to $48. Now, is that going to do that one day for a stock that doesn't really move much anymore? Probably not. Now, I will be on watch. I want to see that weakness. If it does get weak, we could see a pretty big move. So, look, take a look at a day like this from 56 all the way down to 52. That's a $4 move. I'm looking for a $2 gap um, you know, initiation to start at 50, 50. So can that happen? Yes. Will it happen? We'll see on the market sentiment, how this goes. Obviously every time it comes to this level, it ends up bouncing, but that gap is something to watch here. And after that, uh, I'll be, I hope it doesn't do all of that. Let me see. Hold up. Yeah, I mean, if we get to 48, I'll be done watching this stock. There's not much I'm watching after that, obviously, other than like 45, maybe. Uh, but yeah, my my actual focus on Shopify this week is that 50-50 into 50 level and then 48 uh, because of the remaining of the gap. So that's Shopify. Now, Netflix reported. We got that out the way. This is gapped up. Where did this close on Friday? That's pretty good. 401. So what am I watching this week? I'm watching the 410 level to the upside. Uh, yes, it did pull back. It looks a little weird, but it's consolidating. Could be bull flagging if I put this on the bigger time frame here. Uh, after 410, I have really nothing much until 420. So 410, 420, uh, that's what I'm watching to the upside. Does that mean I'm bullish on the stock? Again, no. Um, you guys can see we broke this uptrend that we had previously. And then obviously earnings saved this stock from freaking disaster. This was headed down to like 3.30 before earnings. That's Netflix. Now, AMD, not really a big fan of the stock. I don't really want to touch it, but a lot of people are watching this 100 to the downside. After 100, I have room down to 95. Um, I'm probably going to stay away from it. But if you take a look at earnings this week, we have Meta reporting. We have Boeing. You have Microsoft. So there's not much we can play here because... Obviously, those contracts are going to be extremely expensive. Not like I want to play any of these anyways. Meta, maybe. Yeah, I'd rather see what goes on here. And let me take a look at this. Hold on. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm going to stick to those stocks for you guys for the watch list. I'll do the pre-market review in the morning at 9 a.m. Eastern time on my Instagram. So make sure you're doing that. I'm doing that every day this week. Do not miss that. So, yes, I gave you my watch list for this week on a Sunday. Now my watch list does change throughout the week. And obviously that's why I have my Discord. But I am going to do a pre-market review for you guys every single day this week at 9 a.m. Eastern time on my Instagram. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Love you guys. Peace.